Good day everyone! In this video, we will discuss about implicit differentiation. What is implicit differentiation? It is the process of finding the derivative of y with respect to x or dy over dx in any equation involving the variables x and y. Moreover, here is the guidelines in solving implicit differentiation. First step, differentiate both sides with respect to x. Affix dy over dx for every differentiation of a term containing y. The resulting equation must contain dy over dx. Second step, group all terms containing dy over dx on the left of the equation and the remaining terms on the right side. And third step, solve for dy over dx by factoring out dy over dx from all the terms on the left side and divide the right side by the resulting factor. Now, let us apply these steps in finding the derivative using implicit differentiation in the following examples. For the first example, find dy over dx of y cubed plus 4y squared plus 3x squared y plus 10 equals 0. Differentiating both sides of the equation gives us dy over dx of y cubed plus 4y squared plus 3x squared y plus 10 equals d over dx of 0. To get the derivative of the left side and the right side, we will have d over dx of y cubed plus d over dx of 4y squared plus d over dx of 3x squared y plus d over dx of 10 equals d over dx of 0. Getting the derivative of each term, we will get 3y squared dy over dx plus 8y dy over dx plus 3x squared dy over dx plus 6xy plus 0 equals 0. Factor out dy over dx on those terms that contains dy over dx. So we will have dy over dx times 3y squared plus 8y plus 3x squared plus 6xy. Isolate the 6xy term on the right side. We will have dy over dx quantity 3y squared plus 8y plus 3x squared equals negative 6xy. To solve for dy over dx, divide both sides by this trinomial. Thus, dy over dx is equal to negative 6xy over 3y squared plus 8y plus 3x squared. For the second example, find dy over dx of the equation x squared plus y squared equals 5. Again, for our first step, get the derivative of both sides of the equation. Thus, we will have d over dx of x squared plus y squared equals d over dx of 5. We will have d over dx of x squared plus d over dx of y squared equals 0. The derivative of x squared is 2x and the derivative of y squared is 2y dy over dx. Isolate the term 2x on the right side of the equation so we will have 2y dy over dx is equal to negative 2x. Then divide both sides by 2y to solve for dy over dx which will be equal to negative 2x over 2y. Simplifying negative 2x over 2y, we will get dy over dx to be equal to negative x over y. Let us have the third example. Find dy over dx for x plus y cubed equals e raised to xy raised to 4. Differentiating both sides with respect to x gives us d over dx of x plus y cubed equals d over dx of e raised to xy raised to 4. The derivative of x plus y cubed is 1 plus 3y squared dy over dx and the derivative of e raised to xy raised to 4 is 
E raised to x, y raised to 4, d over dx of x, y raised to 4. Simplifying it, we will get E raised to x, y raised to 4 times 4x, y cubed, dy over dx plus y raised to 4. Remember that we have used here product rule because x, y raised to 4 forms a product. Let us distribute E raised to x, y raised to 4 on this binomial. Hence, we will get 1 plus 3y squared dy over dx equals E raised to x, y raised to 4, 4xy cubed dy over dx plus E raised to x, y raised to 4, y raised to 4. Next, Combine all terms that contains dy over dx to the left side of the equation. Thus, we will have 3y squared dy over dx minus e raised to xy raised to 4 times 4xy cubed dy over dx equals e raised to xy raised to 4, y raised to 4 minus 1. Next, Factor out dy over dx on those two terms. So we will get dy over dx quantity 3y squared minus e raised to xy raised to 4, 4xy cubed equals e raised to xy raised to 4, y raised to 4 minus 1. Since we are solving for dy over dx, let us divide both sides of the equation by this expression. Thus, dy over dx is equal to e raised to xy raised to 4, y raised to 4 minus 1, all over 3y squared minus e raised to xy raised to 4, 4xy cubed. I hope that you have understood our lesson. For the next video, we will discuss the part 2 of implicit differentiation. Thank you so much for listening and see you on our next discussion.